Hi, I'm Rick Lazzarini for the Stan Winston School of Character Arts, and this is my lesson on organic mechanics. It's moving. Um, this is a long lesson, uh, and it delves into uh, what it takes to get a lot of expressiveness out of an animatronic creature. Uh, in this lesson, I what it shows you is you've got to have all of these servos going, and for each servo, okay. you've got to have, now it's a unit. Okay, now I can actually take a, if, if, if it's a little too rough, I can take a, a Dremel bigger, sander to bigger, it. Bigger, 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 bigger hole, and here's a bigger one. To embed that do it. fully there. So I'm going to go a little bit beyond that. When I put this back into its space, all right, nicely fits in there. I'll probably have to do a little more grinding, a little more clearance here, so it can rotate, because I didn't cut it in a perfect circle. That's going to be full open. And you've got a picture of the skin being attached to that. If I don't get them in the right place, they'll be aligned incorrectly. And it's gonna look silly. There's a silver look to this. That's because I fluxed it with so acid. So here's where it indicates 10% of the rate B. 10% of the rate A. It's gonna do the right the side, side because again, I wanna get this all done and I wanna put the skin on. And if I like the way that this looks, then I can duplicate it on the other side. Roll this, this up. Butyrate. These top teeth are gonna fit inside. There's a lot of movement going on. So if this is all the way down. So if I turn the receiver back on, you can see the space is, is limited inside. And I've got that jaw, again, making sure I'm at the yep. mid-range. Okay, I wanna do something else. As I mix this propoxy, I'll tell you a little I'm story. Do something else. I got another call for a squirrel today. There we go. Just say no to squirrels. Let's see if that accomplished my dreams. This is always a weird part the lower because you're taking so I'm gonna lose what the was jaw kind of a robotic understructure there. and then you're adding a skin the jaw. to it. Somewhere like this. What I'd like to do is to complete this and a so further. for the next lesson, I think we want to get into making the eyes move, uh, making the eyes blink, and adding a little bit of lower eye expression. This has been Rick Lazzarini for the Stan Winston School of Character Arts. And I hope you've enjoyed my lesson on organic mechanics.